Hey guys, it's Ben here from the Fiberglass Factory. Today I just want to talk to you a little bit about fitting a fiberglass scoop to a steel bonnet. So this is the this is a HK uh, four inch cowl that we're going to fit to the to the HK bonnet. Uh, just before we start, if you can just do us a favour and hit the subscribe button. All right, so I've uh, sort of had a look at this for a little bit, and I've decided that I'm going to cut through here and blend it in from there into this line here and then feather it in out here. I'm gonna get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna check to make sure we've got the, the back right here. So just with a one meter ruler, I'm gonna measure it. I've got 78.5 in the very middle there. 78.5, wow. All right, let's, um, let's run a couple more measurements just to make sure that the middle's right. Uh, it's always good to, to check a number of measurements. I'm just going to measure this radius also, particularly when it's not your, when you're not familiar with the product. Now it's worth spending some time doing this, unless you're not fussy and just want to slap it in wherever. But when we're doing work for other people, it's important to get this right. If it takes us 10 minutes to get the positioning right, then that's how it is. Yep. I'm happy there, remarking it. Mm. Wasn't quite happy with the first one. Alrighty. Yeah. Well, it's a good idea to mark the bonnet. Then you know we have to prep. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna whack a couple of screws in it. It's just sitting up a tiny bit. With a few screws in it, we'll have a position to go back to. Now you want to be setting this up before you mix any glue. Make sure you're happy with how everything's sitting. It's called a dry fit. I'm not happy with how that's sitting up, so I'm going to have to put a screw in that. Just using self-tappers here. Now I can't get a clamp on there, so I'm going to have to use screws. That's okay, except you just don't want to go through this front lip and end up with um, end up with holes right at the very front at the back there. Uh, can be a real problem. Get a couple of clamps at the back. Make sure we are 100% happy with how everything's sitting. Run our eyes over it. Everything's looking good. Okay. What we can do, we can we can mark our, our screw holes. That'll help us line up our screws. We can now remove all our screws. We are ready to start preparing the scoop and the bonnet to glue down. Here we have a seven inch grinder with a sanding disc on it and it'll rip into this really fast. Just gotta be careful you don't heat the metal up too much and warp the panel. Paints acrylic. You can see it's horrible to get off. So we're gonna be here for a little while. All right, so this bonnet is now prepped, ready to go. We've gone an inch in from where my screw holes are and I've sort of I've prepped it to where I think the filler might go to. Uh, we may have to prep a little bit further, we'll just play that by ear. Now I've just got to prep the inside of the bonnet scoop and then we're ready to glue this thing down. Alright, now I've also wiped over this surface with acetone which uh, just make sure there's no contaminants on the surface for best adhesion. Now we're going to remark our, our screw holes because we've lost them. Just a little bit of marker here will help us line it up. You want everything prepared 
before you start mixing any glue because the glue goes off in five minutes. You don't have long. So this is a Scott Beta product that we're going to be using today called Cresta Bond and uh, they're not paying us in any way to uh, give this plug but we're just very happy with the product. So uh, it's a two part cross bonding glue and it's been amazing for um, plastics to steel and that's what exactly what it's designed for. Uh, I, I had to pull a scoop off and it took me 45 minutes to almost wreck the, the, wreck the bonnet and the scoop so it's very good stuff. Um, here's, the, here's the gun and we're, um, we've got everything prepared, we're just about to um, push out our glue around the scoop and then glue it down. Okay, so we've made sure everything's prepared and now we're just about to apply the glue. Now the first little bit, if you're using a, a nozzle like this, is not mixed properly. You can see it's a different colour, uh, it should be grey. So we're just going to push that out until we get to the grey part of the glue. If you put that first lot down, it will not go off. So that's a very important step. This is where having the, the markers is very handy. See exactly where you have to go with it. 